It's a little more complicated. Got a lot of pieces here. So we're going to need two more of these guys. We're going to need these. We're going to need one red one. We need two of these grays here. We're going to need two of these. And one of these. Okay. So let's see what that's all about. So it looks like we're going to be putting something here on this one. So basically step one. Step one is we're going to feed. Let's see how this is going to work. Let's put that there. Okay, so we're going to feed one of these in here. Now it doesn't look like we're going to feed it in all the way because in step two, so basically this is going to slide in there like so and it's going to form some kind of a joint. Then you slip it in and then boom, this can, uh, looks like it might move around or do something for us. Not really sure yet. Next step is that we're going to take these. Oh, we forgot we need two black uh, connectors again. Those black connectors are going to go connected to either side, here and here. So that's good. And we're going to take one of these, and we're just going to connect it. That shows in the picture. Like so. And then connect two of these gray ones here. I'm assuming this is going to help. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to take some more of these black connectors. These were not there in the manual, but looks like we're going to need them. And we're going to plug them in. Maybe we skip this step. So let's see here. Okay, so this is going to go plugged in just like so. All right, so we have that there. I'm not sure you can see that. So we basically put this whole piece right onto the existing arm that's like here. That's step 16. Now, step 17 looks almost, in fact, I think it is identical. So we're going to take the same components that we used before. Okay, and we're just going to piece them together like we did. This time you have to do it in reverse so that it can be mounted on the other side. So let's see here. So we have this. We're going to have to mount these here and here. Then these will be mounted in like so. And then here we go. All right, there we have that. Okay, that's step 17. Now step 18, we actually get to take the microcontroller out for the first time. It looks like it's gonna be plugged in somewhere. I'm not really sure how, just kind of fiddling around with it real quick to see. Yeah, sure enough, it's gonna be plugged into these guys here and here. Okay, so we've plugged that in. Step 19, we're going to take these here and four of the black connectors. And then this is going to plug in on either side, here and here. Okay, so, okay. So let's see. Go ahead and plug these in. Mm 
Okay, looks like that's more for aesthetics than anything else, but it's not really required. Uh, but we're going to do it anyway, just because they say to. Okay, and then our last step, step 20. I just want to make a little note here. We have some leftover parts. It doesn't look like we needed them for anything. So I'm going to put them away. That's typical of most kits, so I wouldn't worry too much. So our next step will be, let's take some of those cables that we took out earlier. Where do we put those cables? Take some of these cables out, and then we're going to plug everything in. This is by far one of the quickest and easiest uh, kits to put together. If you've noticed, we have not used one tool. Now it says to use three 35 centimeter cables, so we have a 20 centimeter. This looks like the 35, and we have the 20. Sorry, so we have 20, 35, and 50. So this looks like 50, 35, and possibly 20. So it says to take out those three. So we only have three of those. Let's see, I'm not really sure. So there's two here. There's four here. Let's check the back again. So two, four, and one. So two will be twenty. Uh, will be fifty centimeters. So four of these. Okay. So we're gonna use these here. I thought these were the longest for a second, but they're not. It's just that there's more cables. All right. So now what we need to do is plug these in. Now in the picture, it's color coded them, green, blue, and red. So let's see here. So this one here, let's see what green is. So green, basically they've labeled this green and this is green here. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in. And then plug this in here. The red goes to the other one here. And the last one, which is here we are, which is labeled blue, will go connected to the front servo. So it's basically in the center. Now this one's a little harder to get into because it's in the middle of the kit, but there we go. So there we have it. We are fully assembled and we have completed step 20 of the kit. Now that's all we needed to do. Now one thing I've noticed is that we only have motors and a microcontroller and it's connected. We don't have anything else connected to this in the sense of servo, I mean sorry, uh, sensors and things like that. So. We're going to install some batteries, we're going to connect some sensors, and we're going to see what we're going to do in the next video to get us going and moving with this kit.